Well, hello, how is everybody today? Oh my goodness. Here, I'm like realizing this thing is kind of, I gotta, I gotta make a quick adjustment here. This is bugging me, there. <laughs> my little stand, you can kind of see it in the corner there. I don't like that. So, okay, anyway, sorry. So I'm focused, now I'm ready to go. So, yay, good morning, Facebook Friday, Facebook Live. How is everybody? Hi, Nikki, how are you doing? Oh my gosh, I don't know about you guys, but it is like a beautiful Friday morning, early afternoon here in Michigan, and it is about time. We have had a really slow start to summer around here. Lots and lots of rain, so it's going to be a nice couple of days. Yay! Hopefully you guys have some good plans, some fun summer plans. Um, yeah, and oh my goodness, all of a sudden, so um, the Stampin' Up! incentive trip is kind of right around the corner all of a sudden i mean i feel like i've had for forever to get things planned and figure out what we're doing um, we're actually going um we fly into rome on tuesday july 2nd hey sandra how are you doing and so amy joe good morning hello i'm glad you guys can join us um so we're going to spend a couple of days in rome and maybe go to venice so if anybody has any suggestions things to do in rome and venice we're on our own for a few days and then we um hop on the ship and we do a greek island cruise which is going to be oh my gosh the whole thing is like kind of mind-boggling that like we're really you know it's kind of you know in theory we've been doing this and now like in about a week and a half we're actually going to be doing it so I'm kind of telling you guys all that first of all as an amazing thank you for every single one of you all of your love and support and encouragement and just sharing with me on our Facebook group and on the page and on Facebook lives and all of that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I obviously could never have made it to the trip without every single one of you helping me along the way. So thank you guys so much. And we are gonna, I know I'm gonna have an amazing time. My kids and I are going. And I will tell you though that I'm probably gonna be really quiet while we're away. We're, we're gone like the 2nd to the 14th of July and internet's gonna be a little sketchy, and to be honest, um, you know, I thought maybe I would get some stuff um, scheduled to get posted, and we'll see. Maybe I'll be able to do a little bit of that, but I'm kind of thinking I'm just gonna be um, not able to do, uh, you know, just kind of, I won't, I won't be able to be online quite as easily. So, hey, Sally, how are you? Hey, Philomena, how is everybody today? So I'm just kind of, kind of letting you guys know that, that we have today's Facebook Live, and then next Friday, which is what, the June 28th, I think it is, and then for two, the first two Fridays in July, whatever those days are, like right around 4th of July, and then the week after also, we won't be having any Facebook Lives because I'm literally not gonna be in in my house for that whole time so and and like i said i probably will be a little bit quiet i'm i'm, I'm gonna try to post a bunch of pictures of our trip honestly so you guys can see um little bits of rome and um and uh, where are we going rome and venice is what i think my plan is right now i haven't even totally decided so i really have that's my plan is like this weekend <laughs> you can't put it off any longer we got to get things figured out so yeah like i said if anybody has any suggestions if you've ever been to rome or to venice let me know what should we do while we're there because i've got lots of different ideas and now i need to like nail it down and make our plan so yeah so that's like it's kind of looming right it's like this big crazy thing that will be coming up very shortly so i'm gonna miss everybody i will tell you it's gonna be so weird to not do like the facebook live and kind of um you know be a part of things quite so much for that little bit of time um but it's summertime right too so we got to get out and enjoy the summer while we can because it especially around here it doesn't last very long so yeah um let's see what do i want to show you guys um, 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 let me see, let me see. Oh, actually, I want to show you this card. Um, I think I uploaded it to the YouTube channel, to So the Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio YouTube channel. This was a fun card, so super simple. I'm going to share the, that card with you guys. With that, um, I can't even remember the name of the stamp set, but the, the sentiment says, do something creative every day, which I think we all try to do, right? But what I loved was the idea of the washi tape 
um, on this card. And I, like I said, I did a YouTube video so you can get all the details of all the item codes and everything that we used, um, dimensions and everything. But what I thought was kind of fun was I have been doing this a lot lately and I thought, you know, sometimes other people struggle with coming up with card layouts. Um, you know, you get in a little bit of a rut, you start doing the same thing. Um, so what I've started to do is I have kind of a stash of cards in, in my craft room, right? So I've been pulling out and like looking at kind of card designs and layouts and you know, those are from years ago in a lot of cases and then updating them using current product um, and embellishments and that sort of thing. So I had to show you guys, this is where I got my inspiration was and these are both holiday cards but you can see I used a couple strips of washi tape with that sentiment and then some ribbon so that's one of them and then very very similarly another one so you can see I did this maybe a year or two um, in a row too or so I know these were different years that these were done but you kind of see the idea that I basically used this layout to make this card. So if you're ever kind of struggling, that was my main point in showing you guys this today, is if you're ever struggling with coming up with a card layout, um, you know, pull out some old cards and you can kind of revamp them. You know, obviously they're not gonna look anything the same if you use different designer series paper. I mean, this one, there's some similarities, right? But um, they are completely different cards and sentiments too. And the one thing I will tell you on both of those um, Christmas cards that I showed you, I use three strips of washi tape now the last strip of washi tape that comes in this little combo pack, it's the Follow Your Art washi tape. It's like packing tape and it says Stamp It Up, like little Stampin' Up logos on it. So we're selling these little baby um, Stampin' Up boxes and I'm sure that's why they did the washi tape so you can kind of like use it like packing tape on your boxes, which is super cute. But I put it on there and I didn't really like how it looked. So I grabbed some of the Follow Your Art Designer Series paper and kind of put that on. And I did, yeah, if you can see like super close, I did even kind of rip it almost like I was ripping the washi tape. So you could do that with strips of designer series paper too. Just put a couple of strips on there, um, do your sentiment, add some little bling. And I always have to put my ribbon on, right? So yeah, if you're ever struggling, grab some old cards, grab some old layouts and update them with whatever you wanna play with, right? And I think too, thinking of, <clears throat> Like I really wanted to use the washi tape, so I went to like find cards that I'd used washi tape on. But if there's like a big sentiment that you wanna use, find a card that had a big sentiment on it and check out the layout on that too. Oops, and as I'm doing that, my little bow fell off. Okay, so we'll fix that. But again, like I said, this card is on my YouTube channel. Obviously, it's super, super simple. You guys are kind of knowing that about me, right? I like to do the simple stamping. Um, my, my idea is it doesn't have to you know, just because it's simple, it can still be super cute too, right? Sally, you're saying you do the same thing. Hey, Marianne, how are you doing? I'm glad you guys can all be on here today. Thank you. Thank you all so much for joining us, right? Um, okay, quick reminders. We've got the buy one, get one free event local here if you're in Alma. Um, at the Stamp Studio, it's next Wednesday afternoon from 2 until 6 p.m. And then next Friday after Facebook Live, I'm going to run the um, Buy One, Get One Free event from 3 until 6 p.m. So I'm going to have lots and lots of product on display. Lots of I've gotten so many swaps. Do I participated in like three different swaps? So I've got lots of fun new annual catalog product on display in my swaps. Um, I'm gonna have lots of information about class signups. We're gonna do a couple of make and takes with brand new catalog product. And then I am gonna have all my retired product out and you can shop from that. So whatever dollar amount you find in retired product, you can order that amount for free out of the new annual catalog. You still pay the shipping and the sales tax on the new catalog stuff, but it's a great way to get some retired product. Maybe you missed out on some things and maybe I have them and they'll be down at the stamp studio. And then you can get new catalog product too. So it's an awesome win, win, win. It's like, yeah, I love, I love doing the BOGO sales. So mark your calendars next Wednesday, two to six and Friday, three to six, okay? Um, oh, so the other fun thing I have to show you guys is we made all of these. So with my, my, my team, um, the Inkspired Stampers, we had our group meeting on Tuesday this week and I decided we were going to make, um, like designer series paper samplers. So I'm going to show you guys these cause I am absolutely in love with them. And I think once you see all the designer series paper, you're probably going to need many, many packs of these. So, okay. 
<laughs> Sally, you're not bringing McKinley because she causes you to spend more. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, it happens, doesn't it? Those crazy kids, they do that to us. To us. Okay, so I'm just going to flash these up here because I want you guys to see. So this is, then it's backwards, right? But the Follow Your Art Designer Series paper. And I'm going to have all these um, on display down at the Stamp Studio too. But what I love about it is it shows the front and the back of every single sheet of Designer Series paper. And these are little two by two pieces if you wanted to make these. And then I punched one inch circle punches of all of the coordinating colors of cardstock. And then I did put the names down here too. And I have to tell you guys, these have been awesome. Like I kind of want to make another set of them and have one down at the studio. And as I'm saying that, I'm like, yeah, maybe I will have to do that and have one at home because I've used these a ton just for designing cards too, because you can look and, and see the patterns and try to figure out, like for example, on this card that I did, when I realized that I didn't want to use the washi tape, I pulled out my Follow Your Art Designer Series paper sampler and kind of was peeking through here trying to decide which pattern do I think I want to use, and I ended up coming up with that little scissor Yep, the little scissor pattern on those. So, yeah, these are awesome. Okay, so that's the Follow Your Art Designer Series paper, okay? Then we have Everybody's Loving. This is the Magnolia Lane Designer Series paper. And then those are the colors that coordinate. Because what I usually either do is, like, the coordinating colors, I have to look at that super teeny tiny print on the back of <laughs> the designer series paper pack, or you can look in the annual catalog, but it's still super tiny print. So now I have it in much larger print so that I can actually read without grabbing my glasses, which has been handy also. So this is the pressed petals designer series paper. So you can see you just kind of get a little, um, little flash of each of those patterns in there. Um, Sally, I think I have one more set left. Let me check um, my supply and I will let you know, okay? Um, okay, so then this is the Bird Ballad Designer Series paper, which we've seen a lot of that, right? And then look at all those colors that coordinate. Lots and lots and lots of colors there as well, <clears throat> okay? Then this one is the Come Sail Away Designer Series paper, right? Aren't these awesome? And then all of the coordinating cardstock there too. And then let's see, the C, a silhouette. It's funny. So guys, because I hesitated, I'm like, I wonder if other people would like these samplers. At first I thought, you know, they're great um, to show your customers and things, but then I realized how handy it's gonna be just as a card maker to have all of these samples. So, and Lily may want to shoot me, but I'm gonna put it out there. If anybody is interested in these designer series paper samplers, um, what I would do is I would cut and send you the, these are like the, the two by two squares and then punch all the circles. I would email this file to you so that you can print these yourself. But I could um, do these for people if you're interested. Lily <laughs> was a huge helper for me in getting everything sorted and then punched. And then she was like, hey mom, look at my finger. I can't remember which one it was or where it was, but she has this huge blister on her finger from all of the punching <laughs> that she did. So she may kill me when she finds out that I'm putting it out there, but let me know. I'll just see if there's much interest because Sally, I know you're asking about the sampler um, and I, I know I have one extra, but I'm thinking, like I said, I might like an extra one. So while I'm making a couple, if other people would like them, um, let me know. I'm trying to think of pricing. Um, let me think, let me think, because honestly, um, I, yeah, let me think about pricing too. Let, let me know if you're interested and we'll figure that out because then we'd have to figure in shipping too. So, okay, did I say that one though? This is the C of Silhouette. Sorry, I'm like, mm, look at all those colors too. Fun, bright, bold, beautiful paper, right? Isn't that beautiful? And then this one's super cute, the Dino Roar. Okay, we are gonna have some fun with this paper. <laughs> and, and honestly too, what's kind of fun is um, some of it has dinosaurs, but it doesn't all. Like there's some really pretty leaf prints. There's that one right there, and then there's this one over here too. A lot of it is kind of dinosaur, dinosaur-ish, right? And then there's that one. Did I point at that one? This one's kind of a fun geometric pattern, but I think I just love um, all the colors that are in there too. Lots of fun bright colors. And then, so this is the Perennial Essence um, P 
people were saying they're calling this the Monet paper, which I can see that. It kind of looks like a Monet painting, doesn't it, right? Again, all the cardstock. And then this one is the Mosaic Mood. And Lily, it's funny, she had so much fun. She's like, this paper is really pretty, Mom, in all of them. Like, but then she was feeling this one. She's like, ooh, and you can't tell, but there's like some texture to some of the papers, especially that one with that mosaic pattern. It's almost like the tile you put in your bathroom or something, right? And then some coordinating cardstock colors there too. So, and I'm gonna show you, I have two more, but I'm gonna wait and show you those um, when we do our, um, um, the not make and takes, what am I, the demonstrations. That's what I'm thinking of. So, okay, so let me know if you're interested and we'll figure, we'll figure out if anybody wants those samplers, okay? Um, what else do we have? Oh, well, so that being said, um, if you're interested, we've got a little bit more time to sign up for the designer series paper share. So you would get a six by 12 piece of every single one of those patterns of designer series paper that I just showed you on those samplers. That's what you get in the designer series paper, um, share. RSVPs are due by next Saturday, June 29, and it's $50 to get a quarter of a pack of all of our paper. It does also include, and I didn't do, um, you know, the little samplers of those, but it includes the Noble Peacock Designer Series paper, because there are only three different patterns of that paper, um, and then the Noble Peacock Foil and the Perennial Essence Vellum. So those are three more, including all the ones that I just showed you. I think there are, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 different packs of paper that you will get a sampler of in that designer series paper share. Okay, so let me know if you're interested in that. In Color Club is still going on, still available. If anybody's interested in um, getting signed up for that, you get basically everything in one color each month for five months, and that's $49 per month. Plus, you get $20 in free host benefits one month, the month that you're the host of the In Color Club and the In Color Embellishments too. So. Good stuff still going on. That's a, just a great way to get new um, uh, designer series paper in the paper share and then the new ink color stuff in the ink color club. Um, and what else? Oh, the super summer giveaway. You guys, I have to tell you, I've had so much fun seeing the post. Nikki, you are in first place too with using that hashtag, the super summer giveaway hashtag. It's so fun because there's like a little looking glass and I can just type that super summer giveaway in, in the little looking glass on the Facebook group and whoever's posted a picture, I can see right there when they use the hashtag. So that is so fun. I love that you guys are doing that. So thank you for participating. Thank you for sharing. And honestly, we have had so, so much good interaction and sharing on our Facebook group. And I think, you know, sometimes, um, you know, people, we might need a friend, we might need a little pick me up, we might need a hello or a wow, that's an awesome creation that you made. So I just really want to say thank you guys for the sharing and then for that kind of, um, you know, just the building each other up, that commenting and camaraderie that we're creating on our Facebook group too. I just think, you know, we can all use that pick me up every once in a while, right? When somebody says, hey, that's such an awesome card. I'm so glad you shared that. So thank you guys for doing that because I think that's been a lot of fun. I think we've seen some increased activity in that. And I, it's funny because some days, like I can't get on the Facebook group as often as I would want to. So I have to catch myself up and, and I'm just like, I'm blown away by, all the sharing that you guys are doing. So thank you guys, thank you. And Marianne, you've been doing an awesome job too. Lots and lots of cute projects that you've been sharing. So share away, guys. Don't ever feel like, oh, I mean, seriously, like look at the cards I'm sharing, okay? Like this is, there's no rocket science in like this card, right? But I'm still proud of it and I still think it's super cute and fun. So don't ever feel like, mm, you know, your card isn't worthy or it's not good enough or people aren't gonna like it. People just love to see what we're up to, what each other are up to. So have that, just wash that thought away. Your Everyone's cards are beautiful and unique in their own way. So share them with us because we love to see what you guys are up to, okay? Um, Let's see, I think we are ready to do our drawing. So let's do that. We have, this is the Pretty Peacock, Pretty Peacock, the Scalloped Linen Ribbon. I'll get that in the view there, right? Okay, so got my little paper pumpkin bag here. So 
one entry for commenting on Facebook Live videos, three entries if you share the Facebook Live video, three more entries if you're new to me and you sign up for the email list, and then the random draw day was Wednesday. So just a couple of days ago on Wednesday, if you commented or shared any of the posts I did on Wednesday, or if you posted something yourself, you've got three more entries in here. So you guys, I know that's always a mouthful, but I love for people to know. Comment and share and post, and you get a chance to win this fabulous ribbon. I'm glad you're enjoying that game, Nikki. <laughs> I think it's fun too. So, okay, all right. Shaking these babies around and we have, oops, I had a couple, I'm trying to make sure I just have one. Okay, one name, <laughs> Miss Vina. Good for you, Miss Vina Gomez. Congratulations, Vina. So I will get that ribbon, the scalloped linen, Pretty Peacock Ribbon sent out to you, Miss Fina. Congratulations. Okay, so you guys, I've been having so much fun um, giving this ribbon away. I'm like, you know what, we're just gonna keep, I have a bunch of bolts of this ribbon too. So we're gonna do all five of the ink colors, I think, I don't know. I've done, what did I do? Terracotta Tile last week, we did Pretty Peacock this week, so this next week we are gonna give away, that's the Rococo Rose Scallop, and you can see the scallops a little bit better. If you guys haven't seen that ribbon yet, can you kind of, when I keep, when I turn it, it gets a glare, but I love this super cute little scallop edge. And I've seen fun things where people are like cutting it apart. I'll show you that one later. Um, yeah, almost like they're just using like the little Rococo Rose scallop edge. They're cutting right through there. So you could end up actually with double the ribbon um, if you did that, if you cut right through the middle and you cut the, the linen part out, you'd have both sides with the little, I have to try that, I haven't done it yet, but it is fun how people are like pulling ribbon apart and like the little strands and things that you can get. You can like make some really fun things with our ribbon. So I would suggest, you know, maybe cut off a little strip and start pulling apart or, or cutting this apart and see what you think. See if you there's something fun you can do with it. So I'm gonna show you more on that in a little bit too. So, okay, um, yeah, so that's next week. We'll give this Rococo Rose. <laughs> Hi, Rosemary. You guys are very sweet to congratulate Bina, too. <laughs> um, okay, so one more quick reminder about um, the class to go. So this is the, <laughs> is beautiful ribbon, isn't it, Philomena? So this is the Above the Clouds class to go, right? This today's the last day. So if you haven't signed up and you want to, make sure you do it today because I am determined, um, well, I have to. I have to get those to-go kits. I have to get everything ordered and then I'm gonna get them all shipped out before we leave um, for the trip because I don't want you guys to wait, obviously. And I've, I've made that commitment. Um, yeah, because what is the, I think I said by Wednesday, but we're actually leaving. Yeah, so I will have the kits shipped by Tuesday, July 2nd at the absolute latest because we're leaving for a while and so I need to make sure to get those out to you guys. So, but this, that above the clouds, so you would get the stamp set and the cute little hot air balloon punch, right? And then these are the four cards that you could make two, okay, there we go. Two of that baby, two of that one. You can see the cute little scalloped ribbon there too. I love the colors on this one too, those pretty soft colors. Two of that card and then two of that one. And you can change your sentiments around, um, you know, do whatever you like. So I'm not going to go through all the details on that. I've got the link on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com. I've been emailing about it um, and posting on our Facebook group. So if you're interested and you haven't seen the link somewhere, just um, email or Facebook message me and I'll get it sent to you. So, but today's the last day. <laughs> what are you saying? You were going over your wish list to find that. Oh, you did find that stamp set on it. Cause yeah, you said you didn't really like it, Sally, but you know, things change, right? Once you see the ideas online. Okay. And you guys too, if you've already ordered the stamp set and the punch, the above the cloud stamp set and punch, you can substitute the product value of that bundle substitute for whatever you want. Um, cause then you can still get some product, right? Um, and then you can get all the, uh, pieces to do the make and takes to plus the PDF tutorial. Okay. Um, all right. Oh, and Miss Sally, I'm so glad you're on here because I wanted to say a congratulations. So Sally is also in my Inkspired Stampers team. 
and she just reached her first $300 quarterly minimum. She just got the starter kit back during celebration and um, she basically renewed her demonstrator status for another three months. So she's got July, August, September where she can continue to get her 20% discount on all of our awesome Stampin' Up! products. And the fun thing is, so I'm sure she's been buying new annual catalog product, right, Sally? And then as demonstrators, I believe it'll be in August, we will be able to pre-order out of the next holiday catalog, which I know I've said like it's absolutely nutty. And I will get that catalog. That catalog will be in my hands once we get on that Greek Island cruise. Stampin' Up! is always really good about um, giving us the catalog. And then we usually come up with lots of product. I forgot about about that so we'll have lots of new holiday catalog stuff I will probably keep that under wraps um, just because oh my gosh it's not we can't talk about holidays quite yet right can we <laughs> I don't know we'll see I haven't decided my plan on that yet um, but yeah right now we're focusing on annual catalog because that's what you guys can order right plus it's summertime so okay um, let's do our drawing for these were those super cute the scalloped note cards and envelopes good this glare is not too bad today so all those fun colors mary hey mary how are you um let's see so these um scalloped edged what are they called the scalloped note cards and envelopes right they come in the that front color right there that's balmy blue old olive light pink they're saying and then terracotta tile you get five of each of them you can just barely see right there right um Okay, Sally, remind me what you're asking about. Can demonstrators get in? I don't know. What was I just talking about? So type that out for me. Remind me. You say you want in. Can demonstrators get it? Can you get it? Let me know. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm like totally blanking on them. What, what, what are you asking about? So, um, okay, sorry. My confusion. Okay, let's do our drawing, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm really not that like flaky. I mean... I guess maybe I come off that way sometimes, right? I don't, <laughs> sorry guys. <laughs> okay, so um, we are gonna draw for the scalloped note cards and envelopes right now, okay? I had just a couple of online orders, so you guys, your chances are always so good of winning the giveaway on the Facebook Friday. If you put that order in, just make sure to use the host code, and you can always find the host code on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com also. Okay, so. Here we go. Make sure I have one name in here. And, oh, Miss Tammy Robinson. So congratulations, Tammy. I was gonna say you are new to me, but I do have your address. I'll check um, and make sure. I'll send you a message if I do not. But congratulations, Tammy. First time winner of the note cards and envelopes. Very cool. Um, okay, let me just get this stuff out of the way. So, this week, so actually next Friday. Oh, the holiday catalog. Well, no, you'll, um, Sally, you'll be able to order out of the holiday catalog starting in August as a demonstrator. Yep, any demonstrator um, can pre-order early. That's one of the huge perks of being a demonstrator now, right? You can order a product early. So yes, you'll be able to order out of the holiday catalog. We'll have to watch the Stampin' Up! website, but it's usually August 1st or it has and has been for the past couple of years. Um, so yeah, and what I think, they'll probably put it online and then they'll probably ship it to you with that very first order that you do in August. Hey, Kim, how are you? I'll, we'll have to check the Stampin' Up! website for sure, but I think that's how it will work. So, okay, do you guys wanna know what we're gonna give away next Friday on Facebook Live? Uh, we have this is an awesome, awesome pack, and you can you even read. These are called the Come Sail Away Memories and More Card Pack. Okay, so I have to show you guys, because I don't even want to open these, so if I have to, or if I have to ship them, I want to keep them nice and intact, but I'm going to show you in the catalog. So, Melissa, hey, how are you doing? So this is kind of a really good example of the Memories and More Card Pack. So you can do your simple scrapbooking um, if you would like with those photo pocket pages, you can kind of insert. So right in this little package are um, like the three by four size cards. And then also, um, let me see, that one looks like a four by six right there. Yeah, so they've got a really pretty, no, picture. Yeah, that's a picture. And I've done that before too. So they took a four by six picture and cut it in half and slipped <clears throat> half and half in either side 
of that top part of the um, pocket page. And then in the bottom one, they slipped a four by six card from the card pack in there. Um, and then the other thing you can do is you can actually make greeting cards with them too. So you've got lots of different options. It's basically like little pieces of designer series paper in here, either three by four or four by six pieces. And you can cut them and layer them and do all kinds of fun things. Um, but I just love, like, can you guys, if I get super close, and you'll be able to see, this is on page 170 in the annual catalog. Can you see how they use, like, that lighthouse paper is in that pack, and it's actually in the designer series paper, too. But they made a super cute card with the card kit, right? And let's see if there are, this is a little bit closer up. So here's another card that they made, and then this is a picture of all of the different um, cards that come in the card pack. And I'll tell you, ooh, if I can read that. It says it includes 50 total double-sided cards, two each of 25 designs in three by four inch, and then four by six inch. Yeah, they've got lots of different sizing on there. And then there are some single-sided laser cut specialty cards and four sticker sheets so you get some fun embellishments in there too. So super awesome pack for memory keeping. You can do it, use it for scrapbooking or card making. So that's what we're gonna give away, the Come Sail Away Memories and More card pack. That your name will go in the drawing if you use the host code in order online anytime between now and next Wednesday at midnight, okay? Um, all right, I think we are ready to move this camera down. I keep looking around like I've missed something, but I think we're good. So, okay, turn your heads away for a sec. Yes, they are a great product, aren't they, Sally? Okay, one sec and we will get situated. Oops, let's see if we're gonna be able to do that, all right. There, okay. Actually, I'm gonna move this back there a little bit. Okay, so this is the host code, still good for the month of June, the G7R2SRES. Just make sure you use that to get your name entered into the drawing. Just a $30 order, get your name entered into the drawing to win that Memories and More Come Sail Away card pack. Okay, um, did I have more to show you? I thought I did, let's see. Okay, I think. I know what I wanted to show you. Okay, I'm gonna show you the card, one of the cards that I'm gonna demonstrate. So this is another great example of, I saw this card layout online, and I apologize, I forgot to make a note of whose card layout it was. Um, but I was like, okay, I love that card layout, so I decided to change it up. It basically started with my designer series paper. This is the Woven Threads designer series paper, and I'll show you, this is the, so here's another example. Maybe I can get this even a little bit closer. So this, these are all of the designs front and back of each of the six sheets and then you get two of each 12 by 12 of those sheets in the designer series paper. And then this is the one that uses all of our new ink colors. So Pretty Peacock, Purple Posy, Rococo Rose, there's a Sahara Sand too. And then um, Seaside Spray and Terracotta Tile and Whisper White. And they're all listed right on there too, right? So. Awesome, awesome designer series paper. So pretty, like just some fun, kind of soft, uh, muted, I guess. Um, washed is maybe a better word, right? Um, but love the colors too. And this is a great a feature of all of our new ink colors also, okay? So that is the designer series paper. I have to show you a couple more cards that were made with the designer series paper. And then these are the awesome, in color embellishments, those faceted dots. So that's purple posy, and then there's a terracotta tile and a little rococo rose right there too. So she used some of the designer series paper. There's that scalloped edged ribbon that we're gonna be giving away next week, that rococo rose. Oh, Philomena, you would like to get a sampler also? Okay, I will make that note. And then like I said, I just have to figure out pricing um, but I can probably actually put it in your first in color club order too. So then you don't even have to pay for extra shipping. Oh, that's a good idea. Very cool. Okay. Um, sorry, something caught my eye outside. I'm <laughs> just keeping, making sure that everyone's good in the neighborhood too while we're doing our Facebook live. Um, yeah. And then I love this sentiment too. Wishing you a day of love and joy. Isn't that awesome? 
Very, very cool. <laughs> cool, she says. <laughs> That's cute. Yeah, I just love, and I'm trying to see what, she used some different layering and kind of, she um, kind of added some designer series paper and then kind of ripped that. I've been doing a little bit of that lately. I haven't done that in a while. I don't think I was saying that in my video too. I haven't ripped my DSP in a long time. And then this one, I know I showed you guys maybe last week because it's a great um, feature of the Woven Threads designer series paper as well as our in colors too. But that's another really pretty example of that designer series paper. Okay, so let's go ahead and make our card. I think it all, actually I need my grid paper out, don't I? Okay, we're gonna scoot. I'm gonna move that over there, right? You guys can still see, am I in? I need to move that guy out of the way there too, okay. This always helps me when I, if I get my paper placed kind of in the middle of the view, then I know when you guys can see or not see things. Okay, so we are gonna use, this is the Parcels and Petals stamp set. Just a beautiful, this um, floral imagery is so pretty. I have a card that we did at class last week that I'm gonna post on my blog um, in the next little bit, so keep an eye out for that, because I loved. And if you can see that there are like little, it's almost, um, for me it's like pollen, you know, when the wind blows or however that works, and the little pollen, um, you know, uh, comes out of the flowers. That's kind of what that looks like to me, but they've got these great sentiments. Somebody loves you lots and lots. Birthday cheer to you all year. Um, you're the best. You did it. Thank you. A little something. And then those awesome to and from. And then these really pretty flowers there too, right? And some other leaves. <laughs> yeah. Yes. You're right, Sally. When you rip the edges around a layer, you're right. It is very fun, isn't it? Okay. So let's see. What all do we need? I think I've got everything here. So let's do our stamping. Oh, you know what? Actually, I'm gonna give you measurements. Let's do that first. So this is my designer series paper, okay? And this DSP, the Woven Threads, measures two and three quarters by two and three quarters. And then I've got my Purple Posy cardstock that measures two and seven eighths by two and seven eighths, right? And then we've got our Whisper White cardstock that measures three and one quarter by four and a half. And then our seaside spray measures four and a half by four and three quarters. And then this was our card base. You guys know how I do this, right? We've got our purple posy card base that measures the eight and a half by 11. I made a tall card, so we actually cut it along the eight and a half side at four and a quarter inches, okay? And then along the 11 inch side, we scored it at five and a half inches to make that tall card right there, okay? All right, so let's see, what else do we want? Now we can do our stamping, okay? So I'm gonna grab my Whisper White piece and I have my Seaside Spray ink and I did, um, I used that birthday cheer to you all year sentiment and I want to make sure I've got that right side up and we're going to just stamp that kind of down in the bottom corner and it's funny how that I was doing that last night too I'm going to flip that over because it looks like it's kind of going downhill a little bit and we'll see if it gets any better on this side great and if not yeah that I think that looks a little bit better and then I've got this little cute little flower we're going to just stamp him right about there okay just added a little bit of fun to our card Okay, so these are super simple. They don't even require any big shot work either. So we will start putting things together now. Okay, so I'm gonna put some adhesive, and can you guys see, this is a little bit bigger piece, but that is some of the back. Just kind of a, it almost looks like linen, like linen paper, Sahara sand linen paper on the back. I love this pattern too, though I can see myself using that pattern almost more than the other one. And you will notice, obviously I stamped on that one side and didn't like it, um, but we will not even be able to see that stamped image once we add our cardstock onto our card, right? You just can't even see 
the quality, it's funny how many times I hear that from people, the quality of Stampin' Up! paper, the cardstock, the designer series paper, the vellum, all of it. People love our cardstock, our paper, because they do, they really do such a nice job uh, with it, with the quality of it. You can really tell. Okay, so then we're gonna just layer that little baby right in there. And I knew once I had made this, I'm like, oh, we need something else. And of course I went straight to super pretty, right? The seaside spray, you can see a little bit better that scalloped edge. And this is what I was trying to say was cut. I have to try this. You can just cut right along there and then you have this little strip of ribbon, but then you can also cut on this side. So you could actually get double the ribbon if you cut that in half, right? Oh, okay, Sally's gotta go. Have a good day, Sally. We will talk to you later. Okay, so I'm gonna make my bow. And and I do you guys see how I did that? I am kind of flipping this over so it looks like the back side is showing because when I bring it through, I want the front side to show again. Because if you don't flip that over, then you have kind of the back side showing. And this is one you just have to work with a little bit. And I might even flip that tail around some too. So this one you just, Mary Ellen, how are you doing today? Hopefully you're having a good day. So you just wanna, I kind of, I'll pull and push and you know, till I get it where I want it. it sometimes it takes me a little bit to get my bow just so, right? So we're gonna cut that guy off. But isn't that cute? So pretty, huh? Do you love that? I love that ribbon. That's why we're giving a bolt of it away every single week now, so far. I probably will keep on trend, who knows? Unless I have some other fun new stuff I need to show you guys. Okay, so, and I just kind of popped that bow, put it down in the corner right about there, and then one last little finishing touch. I have my pearls, and I just needed to add a little pearl kind of down. Oops, I need to use my take your pick tool. I tend to just use my fingers, to be honest, and then added that little guy right down there. So, what do you guys think? I mean, I'm just so in love with the Purple Posy and the Seaside Spray. I went to this designer series paper. You know, I went to my little sampler here. And I was like, well, what's my favorite paper? And this is one of my favorites. I love the blue. This is kind of the little bit more blue version, but I love this one that, and you can see too, right? They all, everything looks a little bit different. So depending on where you cut your paper, but then there's that linen background too. So I was like, okay, we're using that paper. And then I built my card around it by knowing that I used uh, seaside spray was in there and my um, purple posy was in there too. So this is just a super handy way to build um, and create your cards. So I hope you guys enjoyed that one right there, that our first um, demonstration. Okay, so now I have to show you. Hold up though, one moment. Actually, we better use our chamois. We haven't used our chamois in a while, have we? Okay, so oopsie daisy. I'm gonna kinda clean my stamps off that way when I throw them back in the tub. Oops, and sometimes that happens. Just pick that back up. You wanna be careful not to, when that falls off, you don't really want it to flip over. This isn't even too wet anymore, but you really don't wanna get that wet on the back. Cause that is one thing if you don't, and you guys will notice I have not, people have been asking me about that at classes too. And this is my own personal preference, so this is totally up to you, but I have not been using my labels. Um, I actually found that they were almost too sticky for me, that um, I wanna be really fast and like rip that off. And I was having, I was struggling. I was kind of um, uh, pulling apart my stamps a little bit with when that, um, that little sticker is on the back there and I put it on there, I have to be really careful when I pull my stamp off. And I just wanna rip these things off and move on. So for me, this is just easier to pop that on and off without the label. So that's a total personal preference because you just have to be more careful. If you use these labels on the back of here, they're super duper 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 sticky now. So when you peel this off, you have to get your finger underneath the label and peel it off. Otherwise you can, you can kind of pull it apart, at, you know, on that foam right there. So 
that's just a like I said, a total personal preference. I'm just choosing not to put mine on. But you certainly can. Don't don't you don't have to do <laughs> you know, you do what you want to do, right? Okay. Um, so actually let me get these babies out of the way. Right. Okay. All right, so our next card. Oops, what did I do? All right. Nothing, you guys. I was I dropped my little notes. You guys don't really care about that. Okay, so now I have my next project. Actually, so I'm going to show you the card because I use, no, I'm not actually. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. So I'm going to show you. This is our product of the week, right? I think I did share one of these now that I think about that on our Facebook group. You know, that was probably like a day or two ago. So that memory of actually doing that is pretty much gone <laughs> in my brain. But yeah, so these aren't a total surprise, are they? Because I did share this one, right, with the, this is the Garden Lane Designer Series paper. So you can see all the pretty patterns of, and it's funny because I was like, oh yeah, shades of green, great. But the more you look at, like I love, this is like a little English garden, English maze, this one. And I thought there was one more, okay. Well, kind of this one here too, right? So very very pretty but all the different shades of green right and then they've got some kind of neutral tones in there too with that um, sahara sand popping in so the colors that coordinate with this designer series paper are garden green mint macaron oh that's mossy meadow <laughs> i was like that that is not um well i meant to say soft suede i think you could put a soft suede in with this and, and get away with it too this is pear pizzazz soft sea foam and then whisper white so, but I think, I feel like some of these browns, you could maybe make soft suede if you needed to. I'm guessing they're calling that mossy metal though. So, but very, very, very pretty paper. So hopefully you guys have been enjoying that product of the week all week long too, because I have some more fun cards to share with you that all feature that product of the week. So I, I did a video, uploaded this. This is on YouTube. You can get the details. Love this ribbon. Love that designer series paper. Your friendship means the world to me. Thank you. What a sweet, sweet card, right? So that one you can check out um, at the um, Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio YouTube channel. <laughs> and you love all the green too, Rosemary. I know. I do now. It just took me a minute for it to grow on me. But here's another one. Isn't this so pretty? So she, these are all swaps now. She used some of that, um, I think this is mint macaron, the textile ribbon. Love that. I do not have that new flower stamp and punch. It's kind of like a three petal um, stamp there. And then here's more of that. It looks like a garden or a maze or something, right? Doesn't it? So this was a swap that I received from Jeannie Nielsen. Okay. And then what else? I've got a ton of these. This one says, always thinking of you. Maybe I did show this one. I can't remember because I love how she cut pop that out. But if I can't remember, maybe you guys can't remember either, right? If I showed it. Plus I love, <laughs> we used those last week, right? I love those um, perennial essence, those flower centers. So pretty. This one is a swap from Judy Garza. And who's next? Let's see. Here's another one with some more. And I, these all use, look at that. They all use different patterns of that designer series paper, right? Then here's another one. This one is fun too. I love how she brought the purple into it also. I'm gonna say that that is Blackberry Bliss. Um, but yeah, the shades of green with that pop of purple, so pretty with the hello. She used that ribbon also. And this one is from Lisa Harris. Okay, got a couple more. Oh, this one's upside down. There we go. So we've got a thinking of you. And this paper, so they said the Magnolia Lane Suite kind of coordinates with this Garden Lane, um, the couple of products that are in the Garden Lane um, Suite as well. So that's where this beautiful stamp came from. I love how she put the pearls in the center there too. More designer series paper, some pretty polka dot tool ribbon. This one is from... Angie Leach at Too Cool Stamping. I like her work. She does really awesome work. And then one more, and this has got to be a fun fold. We might have to open this one up. This stamp has been really popular too. You can see it's made it onto a couple of different cards. But look, those are all different designer series papers there too. Isn't that beautiful? Look at all of that. Yes, love that paper. And then these pretty, I haven't used, ooh, that's a pretty die. Can you guys see? 
the leaves, the way they're die cut there. And then, oh, and then that Rococo Rose Ribbon. That's what we're giving away next week. Okay, this one is from Rhonda Bassler. Okay, now we do have to open this one up because I'm thinking there's something fun about how this card opens. So let's see this one. What do we got? Oh, ooh, yeah, it's like, ooh, like a special Z fold. So we did the Z fold the other day, but we didn't do that. Ooh, how cool is that, right? So when it opens, it looks like that. So you could write in both of those and then it gets covered up. Oh, isn't that fabulous? I love that. <laughs> yes, they are all great cards, aren't they, Philomena? And I can take credit for one of them, but that's it. But that's what's fun about swaps, right? So I will have all of these down at the stamp studio. You guys can come check these out anytime. Okay, so let me show you now. This is the card that we are going to make today with that Garden Lane Designer Series paper. And we use some of this, oh, I think it's the Woven Threads. Hmm. I'm going to have to look that up. It's right here. This, oh yeah, it's the Woven Threads Trim. Double Z Fold. Thank you, Nikki. Yes, that's what it's called. <laughs> so you guys have to check out, isn't this ribbon so cool. I love kind of all of the detail on it. I will tell you, I everyone, I kind of look at this and I think maybe that ribbon is too much on there. So what I want to do, I want to try because I saw, um, you know how people are kind of cutting up all of our ribbon. We're going to try this. We're going to, so can you see that ribbon? So it is this right here. Actually, we'll flip it this way. Nope, it goes this way. There we go. So it's cut along that edge right there and then those little um, kind of pom-poms. Declining that. Sorry about that if that went out for a sec. Can you guys see that? But I think that's so cool. Like I'm just a little, um, I really wanted to show you guys this ribbon and so I put it on. But do you ever do that where you, it's almost like you force something and I, I love the ribbon but I don't know that I love it on this card like this. So. Um, instead of continuing to do that, we're going to try to just put that little strip on there. And we're going to see what that looks like instead. My other option, and I'm still kind of wondering if I wouldn't like it a little bit better. And I think part of it is the tone of, like this is kind of, um, is it Sahara Sand? Yeah, they're calling this Sahara Sand. I almost think maybe just that burlap might have been a better way to go because I like that tone better with my gold um, faceted gem. So we'll see. that. But that's kind of the fun part is you can play around with your embellishments and decide which one you like best, right? So there's never a wrong way to do it, right? Um, okay, so let me show you. And I do, this was another one where I wanted to show you that my card layout was inspired from this card right here. It's obviously I changed things up a little bit different, but same kind of idea with a couple of strips of designer series paper and some ribbon and then kind of flagging the ends with our punch. So you like the burlap better? I do too, Philomena. Maybe we'll just have to do that. You guys have seen, because I'm kind of questioning whether that might be a little bit too little. Let's try it with the burlap. Yep, I did bring my burlap over too. So yeah, let's do that. I, th I think you might be right. I think it's the tone. This is the Sahara sand is like, to, I don't know, it's not bright enough, I guess, with that, um, with that gold dot on there. So, but anyway, so what I really wanted to say too was, like I said earlier, to grab your old card layouts and update them with your new stuff because it's really a really handy way to um, design cards, right? Okay, so let's see, we used, I love, did I show you, I feel like I showed you guys this last week now that I'm thinking about it too, but I have been loving that stamp, that daisy stamp. So we've got the big stamp and then kind of the medium sized stamp on there, right? And then I used, I've been dying to use my gallery grunge stamp set because I don't think I've used this yet. So I used this um, image right here um, very lightly just to kind of add a little bit of texture to the card itself, kind of stamped on there too, okay? So let's see what else. Let me get everything pulled out here. Okay, and I've got some notes for myself here. <laughs> Stamp off first is one of them, so I have to remember to do that when we go to do our stamping. Okay, so that was on the actual card base itself. Let's do that. 
while I am thinking about it. Right? Okay, so I'm gonna just kind of put that right there. I have, oh, hold on, let me give you measurements before I start stamping away here. Okay, so I shouldn't have put those. We don't need, you guys have seen those stamp sets, right? Daisy Lane and Gallery Grunge, those are the two stamp sets that we're using. I'm gonna scoot those out of the way because they're kind of crowding me. Okay, so we've got our card base, our eight and a half by 11 card base. This time we cut it along the 11 inch side at five and a half, and then we scored it along the eight and a half inch side at four and a quarter inches, okay? Then, ooh, where's my designer? Oh, there it is. My designer series paper fell away. Okay, so this piece measures one and one quarter by five inches. And then there's this one that measures one inch by six inches, okay? Then the only other thing I forgot to show you guys, on the inside, I did stamp the smile, it's your time to shine. And then this piece of Whisper White cardstock measures the four inches by five and a quarter inches. Okay, now we can do our stamping. Okay, so I'm gonna grab, I've got my pair of pizzazz ink that uh, coordinates with my pair of pizzazz cardstock, right? Okay, so I'm gonna put my little scrap paper so that I don't forget to stamp off. I'm gonna put that right about there. Okay, so this is that kind of background stamp from the, what is that called? Gallery Grunge. So I'm gonna do one there, stamp that. And actually, nope, you know what I wanna do? I wanna flip this around. I like when they don't all go the same direction, right? Okay, so now I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna stamp along the bottom. I'm gonna stamp off and then maybe one there and I'm actually gonna flip that back around again stamp that off and maybe one there. So that's all we're doing, just kind of add a little bit of texture to our cardstock. Actually, let's keep that open. Okay, so we've got that. Now we are gonna stamp our daisies. Get my little scrap paper out of the way. Okay, so I need two big daisies. And I'm gonna stamp those straight up and down because Oops, you know what? I wanted to stamp off on that too. I forgot about that. I think my Pear Pizzazz ink pad might be a little extra inked up. So there, I liked that better when it wasn't quite so dark. So we're gonna stamp off on that one. And then we're gonna do that one there. Okay, and then I've got another little strip for my medium one. So we're gonna stamp that off. And then that one there. Okay, and you guys know I love this layering, putting like two big daisies and one small daisy. Let's see, let me grab my punches and I'll show you that, what I mean by that, right? Okay, yeah, I think I could play with this daisy stamp and punch punches like all day long. I love, <laughs> I love these punches. Okay, so that was the medium daisy. Now we've got our regular, hey, Miss Tracy, you love all the new green paper too? Good to hear from you. I know, I think it's pretty gorgeous too. We made scrapbook pages with it. One of them, we've got the other one coming up next week too, right? I think so. Oh, doesn't that look awful? But that's okay, we're gonna use the other side. That popped out kind of backwards. I did not, um, like not line that up. We're good to go. So we're gonna punch that guy, okay? Alrighty. So I am gonna just put this daisy together right now. So that's the back side. So we're going to put him. This is what I was saying by I love this. So two large daisies and then one, oops, no adhesive on that. One medium daisy. I love how that all goes together. Okay. So we're going to set that little baby aside. I do need to stamp on the inside here again with my pear pizzazz ink. We are going to stamp this smile. And we make sure, so that's the only trouble with not putting your labels on. You have to make sure it's upright, that it's not upside down, right? So smile, it's your time to shine. Isn't that cute? Hey, Tammy, how are you, Grandma? <laughs> New Grandma Tammy, I hope you're doing well. And that baby is, looks super darn cute. Okay, now what are we gonna do? Oh, we need our banner punch. Let's do this. So we are gonna slip so this is one and a quarter and this opening is one and a half. So you wanna make sure you kinda of, um, line that up so it's even. So that punches 
properly. And then this is a one inch strip, so that should fit right inside there. Sometimes I maybe go one inch and a, a titch more so it doesn't fit in there quite as perfectly as I wish, but that's good. Okay, so we punched those babies. Now, let's see, we're gonna add some adhesive to our strips, making sure that you don't put adhesive on the wrong side of your paper. You know, that can happen. Oops, scoot that one over a little bit. Okay, so we've got that strip that's gonna go right there. And I'm gonna just move this one up a little bit. We're gonna put that strip right there. Okay, now I'm gonna use my burlap. So as much as I love this ribbon, it would be a great graduation card, you're right, Philomena. So like I said, and I do this sometimes where I kind of force things and it just doesn't work right. So my advice to you is, you know, if, if you think, oh, you know, I, I like it, but I think we're gonna like this burlap ribbon better. Just hold off, don't force things. You'll know when the time is right to use an embellishment and it will look fabulous as opposed to, ooh, I just threw that on there because I wanted another embellishment and it doesn't quite go, right? It might not be the right color or something. So refrain from doing that. I think you will be happier when you hold out for that perfect project to put um, an embellishment on. Okay. So let's get our burlap going. And you know what I am? I generally do not ever, ever do this, but I want to tack that burlap down. I never, ever, ever, I always like to have it floating across there. This is the one time when I will, um, I'm trying to decide how far do I want, maybe I'm gonna put it right about there. There, and I'm gonna add a little bit more adhesive. This is the only time when I will tack that ribbon down like this. That's just a personal preference. I see people at class doing it all the time. I love if this were gonna go around the back, I would add adhesive back here and tack it back here. Although I would never do that on a card front either. But, and then I wouldn't if I tacked it back here, right, on a, on a layer, maybe if I did it on here. This is what I'm trying to say. If I were gonna do this kind of a thing, right, I would tack it back there, but I wouldn't hold that down at all. I like to have it floating, but that's just me. Okay, while we have this piece, does that make any sense? Hopefully. <laughs> oh no, did you guys lose? Did we lose the connection? Lily's calling. Lily, I'm doing Facebook Live. She probably thought I was done. I'm almost done, Lil. I'll call you back. <laughs> you never know. She's on this group too, so maybe she'll see that. Okay. So we've got that. Now we are going to add some glue dots onto, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to actually use these little baby ones. So again, I'm a little bit of a freak about um, getting these things tacked down. So I'm going to do those little baby ones there so they don't show. <laughs> Good, Philomena, I'm glad you, you know what my crazy brain is trying to say here. Um, yeah, so this is another one of those, you know, where I don't want things to be wobbly. So if I only put one um, dimensional right there, it's going to go basically right on top of that burlap and it's, it might kind of wobble around. So I put it kind of on top and bottom there. So when I put that down, it's going to hold my entire daisy in place. Okay, so we're going to put that right about there. And then last step is to grab one of our little gold faceted gems and put that Right in, and then you guys remember how I did this last time too? I have to, because I think like, look at how much that like, hmm, yeah. If you mail this, you gotta put a note in there that says fluff the daisy up after you open that, because isn't that cool? Look at that. And you guys, yep, I definitely, yeah, this is one of those great examples of where I really like, I, I really wanted to use that ribbon. So you guys see it, right, and love it. You know it's awesome, plus you can cut it and make that cute little pom-pom. <laughs> Is that it, like a little fringe, right? But I'm going, I like this one better. I like it with the burlap better. So if you happen to put an order in and you win, well, you automatically get these cards, right? If you put an order in, tell me which one you want. Do you want it with the new, where did it go? The Sahara Sand Woven Threads Trim. Is that one, or do you want it with the burlap? Okay, so, all right. With that being said, uh, let me flip this down here so you guys get your quick reminder, right, about if you put your order in, 
anytime between now and Wednesday, you're going to get these projects that I demonstrated. And your name goes in the drawing to win this Come Sail Away Memories and More card pack. Just put at least a $30 order in by next Wednesday. Use our host code. If you bump your order up to $50, where did that go? You're going to get these embellishments too. These are the in color faceted dots. Those are just a little example of them, but you're going to get the full package of those in your thank you card as well. So thank you guys as always. Hopefully you have a great weekend. Hopefully the sun is shining where you are and summer is good to you. And we will see you guys next Friday. Bye everybody. Have a good weekend. Thanks for the all of the um, compliments too, guys. I love that you guys enjoy these videos too. So thanks so much for watching. Bye everybody.